So first, I, I would like to say a little bit about why, why CCS is so important in the cement industry. It was mentioned um, earlier by Jan that you know, the cement uh, industry is, is, is a very large emitter. It's probably the largest industrial uh, emitter of CO2. It accounts for uh, approximately 8% of the global uh, CO2 emission. And cement is also really the, or literally, the foundation of a green transition. Uh, you need cement for uh, wind plants, for uh, solar plants, uh, for infrastructure, everything that is needed uh, to build uh, the green uh, or to reach net zero. Uh, what's also special with cement is that say two thirds of the emissions from uh, CO2 emissions from the cement industry uh, really comes from handling the raw material uh, that's used. Uh, only one-third uh, of the emission comes from the energy use. So you can electrify or you can do fuel switching. Uh, it will only take you one-third down. You're still left with two-thirds of the emission and the only really viable solution for, for those emissions um, is uh, carbon capture and storage. That's why also we see that if you look at, at um, estimates, um, around 2030, it's, it's estimated that, that, that around 30% of, of the CO2 capture projects could be in the cement industry. Uh, and after 2030, the Global Cement and Concrete uh, Association uh, uh, stipulates that it's required with one um, capture plant per week uh, in the CCS industry to reach uh, a net zero. So the potential of CCS in, in uh, the cement industry is obviously extremely large. So why do we believe then that our technology is such a good match uh, for this industry? Well, there, there are several reasons. First, I would like to say it's, it's a very flexible and easy to integrate technology. So the cement producer can continue producing uh, the cement. Uh, we can construct the plant um, next to it and hook up uh, and capture in a very short time. So it's minimal production downtime, which is important. Um, it can be run, our technology, the capsule end of pipe technology can be run uh, on, on um, electricity only, renewable electricity only. We don't need to build uh, another big heat plant or heat and power plant to produce the heat needed uh, for the capture process. Um, Another thing is that the CO2 concentration in the flue gas from cement is between 15 to 20 percent, which is a rather high concentration. And in our technology, it's a major advantage uh, to have such a high uh, CO2 concentration. And I'll talk a bit about that uh, later. So for the engineering work we have done uh, this quarter, we, we see that for most of, the, um, of, of the, um, the plants we have been working with, we can reach energy numbers as low as uh, 0.6 gigajoules per ton of captured CO2. Um, and, and that is electricity use. Compared to a traditional A-mine technology, that, that, um, that is quite good. Uh, an A-mine uh, technology will, will normally use between 2.5 and 3.5 gigajoules of heat per ton captured. So the 0.6 gigajoules that we reach is, is uh, approximately 170 kilowatt hours per ton. So why uh, is it so beneficial for us uh, with the high CO2 concentration? And for that, I would li like to, to look at some, some um, differences between the traditional post-combustion uh, absorption technology, uh, used, such as A-mines, and the capsule EOP. Um, the traditional post-combustion process normally uses only heat or more or less only heat uh, as the energy to, to, uh, to do the capture. All that heat is used to regenerate the, the solvent. And this heat consumption is really a weak function of the CO2 concentration. It, it more really relates to the, the amount of CO2 that you capture. So, if you're capturing one million ton, you need to boil off uh, one million ton of CO2, and that's where all the heat goes. And it doesn't really matter that much if the flue gas concentration is lower or higher. 
Um, if you look at the capsule EOP, on the other hand, the energy uh, requirement is m electricity, and a lot of that electricity uh, goes to pressurizing the flue gas. Uh, and that, uh, that pressure uh, is, is a very strong function of the CO2 concentration, which means that if we go to high CO2 concentration, we need much lower pressure for our process to be efficient. So we can lower the pressure and use much less energy to compress the flue gas. So if you look at these curves that I've included in the presentation, you see the traditional uh, process where you need mainly heat. Uh, you might reduce your energy or your heat consumption with about 15-60% going from 4% to uh, 15 to 20 percent of flue gas concentration. On our technology, on the other hand, if we go from 4 percent to 1520, where the cement uh, is, we might re we reduce our energy consumption with as much as 70 percent. So it's a, it's a major benefit for us. Uh, and as you all know, the energy use is, is the main um, operational cost of CO2 capture. Um, one other thing is that you typically the, the cement plant will not have all that heat available uh, for a traditional process. So you will need, you can use some of the heat, but you will need to build an extra heat plant. With our technology, you don't need that. But we can also use the, the heat available to reduce our, our energy consumptions even more. And we really see now that, that more and more of, of the cement industry, industry is, is getting their eyes open for, for our technology and, and, and seeing exactly that, that this might be a good solution for them. So right now in, in our portfolio, we have uh, three projects in, in the engineering study phase. So there's one project, about 700,000 tons, where we have been shortlisted um, as a technology provider and we will start a feasibility study in Q3 this year. Another study uh, for a 1 million ton plus plant, um, we are currently providing input to a third party doing a feasibility study for them. And the third one, we just started uh, a feasibility study in July, in which has been going on uh, during summer and is still, still ongoing. In addition to the above engineering studies, we also see a lot of traction in the sales engineering pipeline. So the last two months, um, we have gotten four new projects in there, uh, accounting for uh, approximately 6 million tons of CO2. So definitely we see a lot of traction in the market for this. Uh, so to sum up, you know, we, we believe we have a very good offering for cement industry, easy, flexible technology to integrate, low energy consumption, and uh, in addition to, of course, uh, the traditional things that uh, with an environmentally friendly solvent.